Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back in Technology Welfare. Let's see in this video tutorial how to terminate or how to eliminate, how to wipe out completely iCloud activation log from any Apple device by using MDM bypass strategy. I will show you some strategy here. By using this, we will go in a profile setting of device management of any Apple device and I will change it that once again I will restart our device so all data won't be there any that will test to configure that your device has been linked with any Apple ID or password because at the moment see here it's asking that your device is linked to an Apple ID ensure Apple ID and password that's will use to set up this device if you are not a genuine owner of this device, on the other hand, you have got in anywhere else, any Apple device, and you are not a genuine owner of that, yeah, someone who has given to you to unlock this device, similar as that is execute, 95% chance of that you will be able to operate once again as a new device after this strategy goes. So before proceeding, of course, I would like to inform you that use your original data cable spontaneously latest updated iTunes along with this tool that is iBackup boot here I'm going to change in a root of this device guys and then once again so watch till the end of this I assure you 100% so many devices have been terminated I cloud activation locks my shops by using this uh, strategy so here what I will do firstly let's come on this iTunes for your more clarification guys see here whenever this device is going to connect through your tool has notified fine let me on iTunes now see guys still let's link show what I will do now it's time to come on this here, yeah, no need to download any firmware. So this is a strategy by using this MDM. So just I will come on this I boot backup. So let me here minimize, and I'm going to append this one. This would be latest updated, guys. Otherwise, you will have the problems. Some error you will get. So download link I have given below the description box, and directly download from genuine website, guys. Just I'm going to OK it. Now it has just started to load. iPhone 7 has been connected now. See guys, yeah, this runs. It's connected. So just I will click on there and I will go for backup now. I need to backup this whole data. So I'm going to select here this runs and I'm going to select on my desktop before going to the desktop. Let me assure you guys once again. See, there is no any backup. The data has been stored. Yeah, stored on them on my desktop. I'm going to store it. So let me click this ones. Just I will select this device and backup now. Just I'm going to click on here. Just I will select this ones on desktop and I will select it and then. See guys here, before going there, just you must confirm that your internet connection is working or not. So this connection is at the moment working. So click on directly. I still having problem? I don't know guys. Just I'm going to back up once again. Just I will select this ones and uh, See guys, actually today I unlocked a two three device here. So <laughs> in a generally in eight device I faced in these problems. So just uh, I will click on this ones once again. Protocol error still. So I will disconnect this once again I will connect this and just let's see fine 
let me minimize this ones this tab will go for let me refresh once again still it's not connected now it's going to loading now the shaven has been loaded now see I will come on here and just I will go for backup this ones and I will click on here once again I will go for select this desktop I'm going to couldn't perform protocol version see guys if your iOS here is having problem of uh, on this device iOS uh, is working 14.2 so might be error below the 14 it will be 100% work so here once again I will try this one and just I am going to full restore let me go for partial restore in a system file no, in a system file for I don't want to. Apps. Just I will don't copy backup default. Just I will deselect this ones. I will go for it's going to hang. So see here. One thing I would like to tell you while you're proceeding your internet connections once again that should be connected with your laptops so now let me go for yes I would like to have this one on my let me here in this e drive it's going to So see guys, sometimes if uh, uh, this software will work, yeah, functional on a below especially, I mean, uh, 14 iOS. In that situation, just to try once time. If it will, if it is going to work, then fine. See, how um, the files has been here, approximately uh, 1217 files. So in that situation, just I will click on this, and I will go for in a system file. In a system file, see guys here we need to come in a configuration in a configuration so let me see here let me here this ones Now this one, see guys here, one thing, remind here. This configuration data after coming in the library, in the configuration profile, all the data, just you need to delete it. So we cannot directly select, so just uh, you need to click on a one and select all and then go for delete it. Now see guys, it's automatically deleted all otherwise uh, sometimes it's not going to delete until unless you are not going to backup file on your screen desktop here but it has worked because it's a beta version so that's why now I'm going to refresh it once again I don't know guys uh, uh, now it's going to now see so see after restoring see suppose here guys this one iPhone 6 I unlocked uh, today at the morning so here see in a system file we have a and this one restored this data so similarly after restoring your this one uh, on a iPhone 7's 
also uh, uh, similar data you have to restore you have to go in a system in a system just uh, you need to write here C O M it's a not a coming so directly check it out below the videos in this one now see here in the library configuration file no data today I and then this data you need to restore in your any iPhone device that you would like to similarly in the 7 but at the moment it's not going to back up due to because of this amazing version yeah something etc but however let's see it's going to work or not directly deleting here so this is my iPhone 7 here in iPhone system uh, file I will come in a here below Bluetooth so let me down let me here on configuration let me see now no data is here fine so just I'm going to here this ones and this one you can restore this data otherwise it's up to you guys let me once again restore might be error then no problem at all You're still having error but see after deleting of this one just I'm going to refresh it and what I will do guys here now I will open a 3 tools on a 3 tool see here iPhone 7 is connected at the moment so what I will do now simply I will come in a toolbox in toolbox and just I'm going to deactivate this device activation lock now it's going to deactivate it now let me this one the refresh this software give you so many times error guys so BSO original data cable latest updated this software now after deactivated my phone is rebooted now see I will just let me refresh it now now see guys it has been disconnected finally so let me go for after disconnect let me see iPhone in SAC what's uh, saying here Now it has started to assess the data on iTunes. Now it's assessing. I don't know, guys. Uh, I still have. Oh, God. Finally, it has been. Now, see, guys. So after here, yeah, can I go for continue? yes you can go for continue guys so now it's up to your hand this device has been also unlocked so this is an easy way by using MDM bypass of course you can and see one thing more I would like to uh, here you can transfer any data and spontaneously you can go in a sign in and you can create a new Apple ID and password no problem 